63 IV. Here we go. This gentleman overheated the clutches. I wonder if it was an impact or a high speed shift. This is the inside of one. I think I gave you a picture on our Instagram account and our Facebook page of us assembling another unit. But basically, this is what we're looking at inside a 63 IV. Alrighty. Bluing of the clutch plates and of the steel separator plates. What you want to look for when you're looking at inside the clutch drum itself on the 63s and the 80s, pretty much all the ZFs of that family, what will happen is they'll actually start cutting grooves. There's not any grooves in this, but you can actually see looks like there's some grease marks and what it'll actually do, those clutch plates will cut grooves in the drum itself. These are the bearings that ride on the shaft right here which hold the clutch, place, clutch hub in place. On the ZFs, the 63s mainly and the, the 800s and 80s, the rear clutch is standard with all units rise by the ceiling rings. The input shaft uses a different size for every ratio. Again, input shaft size, different. Ceiling ring side, pump side, always the same. So you don't have to worry about mixing up the gears on either side, all right? If you have any other questions or comments, we're looking, now you're looking at a velvet drive, V drive, unit we're working on. This is the latest edition of the Velvet Drive series. Feel free to call me at 804-333-3677 or you can email us at sales at hailmarine.com or if you're watching us on our YouTube channel subscribe down below or send us a comment, and I'll be glad to get back to you within 24 hours on anything you have on any marine transmission. If I don't know any particulars, I can tell you and recommend the people that do know. I have 40 years of experience here in the marine the business, and specifically in the transmission marine business. Thanks again. Have a great day.